Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Thomas Bird. I am the Assistant Principal and Careers Leader at Longfield Academy, Kent. I've been asked to talk to you today a little bit about my role uh, with respect to careers at a secondary school, but also the importance of providing girls the opportunity to explore diverse job opportunities and break down gender stereotypes. So a little bit of background about me first. Uh, I went to an all boys secondary school in Sussex. Uh, in terms of my teaching, I spent the last 11 years at Longfield. I trained at Longfield, became a maths teacher at Longfield, uh, head of maths at Longfield, and now my current role. The school itself is a non-selective secondary school, part of the Lee Academies Trust, which is a big, big group of primary schools and secondary schools. Uh, Longfield, however, we have just over a thousand students and roughly a 50-50 split when it comes to girls and boys. In terms of my role with careers, firstly, I need to provide opportunity to students to explore a range of careers and various jobs so that they can make an informed decision. I provide support to those individuals in making those decisions. And I also look to break down barriers when it comes to things like gender, stereotype, etc. So I suppose we've got to ask the question, why is this so important? on a national level and on a personal level as well. And I think on a personal level, change starts from within. And that's something that everyone needs to take responsibility for. And that's certainly something that I'm gonna be working with the students at Longfield for, and staff for that matter. Additionally, on a national level, you can see the disparity there. The left-hand graph shows the difference in something as essential as pay. Also, if you look at the kind of variety of opportunities and jobs available to women, take engineering, for example, only 12% of the engineers in the country are women, and that's absolutely something that needs to change. Those kinds of changes can happen with things that are in schools, with curriculum, also the way that people think about specific careers. And those two things, they're unconscious and conscious gender bias. They are happening every day, of every month and unless we start challenging these things we're not going to see those changes that we want so how have i been challenging those gender stereotypes in school i started with disney looking at how disney have portrayed women from a very early point with characters like cinderella snow white etc as being very frail and timid and only being rescuable by a man have now changed massively when it comes to films like Brave and Frozen and Mulan. Something else that I've been talking to my students about is thinking about these kinds of words. Have a look there. Take 15 seconds to see if you can think the th about the thing that connects them. Hopefully, you notice that all of those jobs are followed by the word man. So it's not just about our actions, it's also about the language that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. It can have a massive and everlasting impact. So I decided to speak to some of my students about some of the issues facing women in the world of work and also careers at a secondary school. Sophie was very passionate speaking about a love for website design because of the technical and creative aspects that it offered. Mahi felt that Often older generations perpetuate these idea of traditional values. And Millie felt quite passionately about the fact that there are still some job sectors where because they are so male dominated, that can be a really, really intimidating field to move into. And Chloe mentioned that actually girls are kind of expected to go into things like beauty, hairdressing and creative roles, which is absolutely not the case. What was really interesting, though I wouldn't say surprising, that their biggest concern in society around careers and, and future development for women was social media. They felt that the huge elements of pressure that social media placed on how you should look, how you should behave, how you should be, the kind of job you should have, meant it put people, especially young people, in a really pressured environment and a really difficult position when it came to choosing a career. 
So the finishing message, of course, is Happy Women's Day. And I hope that you've had a fantastic International Women's Week. I suppose the, the main message that we have to take from this is that, that change is hard and, and things will only change when you go out and change them. I think also critically it's important that you're inspirational to the other women around you, as you all can be. You're empowering to the other women around you. But also the most important thing is make sure you're you. Make sure you're doing what you want to do. Not under pressure from social media or parents or anything like that. Be the person that you want to be. Feminism isn't about making women strong. Women, as we all know, are already strong. It's about changing the way that the world perceives that strength. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your week.